Hi guys and welcome to my top 10 Game of Thrones characters that I like or even love, whatever. Um, so, let's get started. Well, number 10. Number 10 is Tyrion Lannister. Um, I really, really like Tyrion. Not as much as some other people like him. He's definitely not my favourite. Um, Tyrion I like because he's the intelligent character. He doesn't have the looks, but he's definitely got the smarts to back himself up. Um, yeah, and he definitely has some of the most interesting stories. And you can see the Lannister side of him come out, but you can also see that he's got a good heart. And yeah, he just craves his father's attention. Yeah, I do like Tyrion. Number 9. Okay, number nine for me is Daenerys Targaryen. Um, I always something always struck a chord with me with Danny, as you know she she has the best story I think, and well, one of the best stories, sorry, and the smallest amount of screen time. Um, I think Emilia Clarke portrays her perfectly, and yeah, just I really love Danny and. Part of that is probably because I do have a slight obsession with dragons. Okay, <laughs> number eight. Number eight on this list for me is Catelyn Stark. She definitely isn't my favourite mother in the series, but she is still an amazing, amazing woman. You know, she had to marry Ned Stark, who she didn't love because her true love got killed in battle, but she grew to love him. Um. And I do understand her feelings towards her, well, not her, but ba Ned's bastard son, I would say. Because how would you feel if your husband went off to war and then came back with a child that wasn't yours? So I do understand her and you really sympathise with the fact that she leaves Winterfell and does not go back. That is no spoilers or anything, she just doesn't go back and she doesn't see her two youngest and yeah, I just love Catelyn, she's one of the bravest characters in the entire thing. Number 7 Number 7 for me is Jon Snow. You know nothing Jon Snow. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, Jon Snow is the bastard previously mentioned, he's grown up in Winterfell being hated by his almost, well, not adopt him, mother, she didn't adopt him, and yeah, and he goes to join the Night's Watch, as he believes there's no place for him elsewhere, and then he <laughs> joins the Wildlings and falls in love, yet he still does his duty. I'm not going to spoil anything that happens after Series 3, and please do not in the comments, but let's just say, he still does his duty, and yeah. <laughs> Number six. Number six for me is Cersei Lannister. Um, she is, I think, the best mother figure in the story. A lot of people would say Catelyn Stark, but I go with Cersei Lannister, as she will do anything to protect her children. She, she is a horrible, horrible piece of work. But there's one scene in se season two of the Battle of Blackwater where it's her sat on the Iron Throne holding her youngest son, comforting him in you know, a moment of grief. And it's just that scene where she's saying, I, I will protect you, I will keep you from harm. And yeah, that scene just really, really nailed her character for me. Number five. Number five for me is Sam Tarly, the coward of the story. But to me, he's not. Um, I love Sam. I think Sam is the bravest man in the Night's Watch. You know, he slew an, ew, sorry, he slew a White Walker, and yeah, he's just got so much courage to him, but you just don't see it because you're told he's a coward. Number four. Number four for me is the Red Woman Melisandre. Um, there's just something gloriously evil about her, even though she's not evil. She stands by her king and she is helping him. Plus, I love her powers. <laughs> to be able to look into the fire and just see what she sees happen would be awesome. Yes, Melisandre. Number three. 
Okay, third on my list is Rob Stark. Um, I really, really love Rob's story arc. His is my favourite story arc so far. Um, and reading the books, it always struck me as a shame that Rob was never a point of view character. He's got the best story and, yeah, he's just like kind of there on the sidelines. And I love the fact that in the series he does have more screen time. And I love the fact that he just not not wades, he goes into things not even full of confidence, but he just goes and he does what he has to do. Um, yeah, and you can imagine that I was upset about the Red Wedding. Yeah, if you've not seen the Reigns of Castamere, I'm not going to tell you what I mean. Number two. Number two for me is Jamie Lannister. And I think a lot of people thought this would be my number one, either him or Rob. Um, so yes, Jamie is number two for me. Um, I always thought Jamie was really misunderstood when he was called the Kingslayer. Yes, he did slay his king, but the reasons he gives for why he did it really, really do make yourself think that you were in the same position, you would do the same thing. Again, I'm not going to spoil it if you've not seen the series and seen or read the books and seen his explanation of why he did it. But yeah, Jamie is awesome. And other stuff that happens in the series, he saves people and yeah, he really, really does redeem himself in your eyes. And don't you think back to him pushing a young child out of a window? But never mind that. Number one. Okay, and number one for me, and I think this will surprise a lot of people, is Sansa Stark. Um, Sansa is definitely my favourite character because of just what she goes through and she sticks to her path. I mean, look at the treatment from... She gets treated like crap, really, for, by Joffrey and the Lannister family and she sticks to it and she just carries on. She's the bravest person in the entire story, especially throughout season three. And I know what's to come in the next season, so yeah. Not true spoilers, but well, it is hinted at in season three what's coming, but yeah, there's a lot coming for Sansa, and she is definitely my favourite character. So, thank you for watching, guys, and join me next week for my top 10 characters I do not like in Game of Thrones. And I'm going to set you a challenge of see if you can guess who is my most hated character. And I will try and come up with a prize for the person who gets it right, if they do get it right. Bye guys!